Today, the 8th of June 2021, marks three years after the death of the former Arua Member of Parliament, Ibrahim Abiriga, and an ardent NRM diehard. And we are gathered here at Izanyafio residence in Arua City to mark and join the family in a memorial service, in a very scientific memorial service, as we remember the life of the former legislator. And right behind me, as you can see, is his house, which is painted in ardent NRM party colors. And the house still remains in shambles, despite pledges made during his funeral, especially by the president of Uganda, to do some renovation on this house and also put up a commercial structure here. This, among many others, are unfulfilled pledges uh, made uh, to the family of the late Ibrahim Abiriga. Join West Nile TV as we hear from the family during this memorial service. Today, family and close friends gathered here at the late Abiriga's Anyafia residence in Arua City to commemorate the former legislator who was gruesomely killed in a car shooting at Kawanda in the capital Kampala. The prayer for the fallen former UNRF-1 turned NRF fighter was led by the former mayor Arua City, El Haj Isakato. This is somebody who loved his people. This is somebody who loved not only Arua but West Nile. And this is the person who loved his country. This is the person who was with the people. And this is the person who brought services nearer to the people. And this is the person who made the community to know this government. So he is worthy to remember. He also expressed confidence that the NRM government, under the leadership of His Excellency President Yorika Guta Museveni, will fulfill the UNRF one pledge package to the late controversial legislator. You know, government has a lot of things to do. And that's why we always say that follow-ups are very, very important. And you don't need to get tired in follow-ups. I think this might be because uh, our late, gallant late, has been a close friend to the first family. And uh, I will not think that uh, they will really uh, stop uh, giving out the pledges that they made through him. You know, the, the pledges through him are many personal pledges, that is family pledges, there was also community pledges that the government made through him, which are not yet fulfilled. I, I, I know these are the pledges you are talking about. There are also party pledges that the, the government made through him, which is supposed to reach the people. So all this will that amount to voila. Salim Saleh Drasi, a brother to the late Abiriga, expresses gratitude towards President Museveni for shouldering the responsibility of the family's welfare, urging the president to still do more to fulfill the 50 million pledge for the Abiriga legacy savings scheme. If you take now the pledges, uh, or what has come from the president or from the state house, which they are supposed to help uh, family members, I think one is uh, president, his excellent year on capital service, I suppose. Last time he said openly that he has a plan of building a commercial house in Anafio, resident of Native America, to cater for the orphans. Then the other house from the Reneke is going to work on it and complete, then which will help the family. And up to now, we are waiting for that. Uh, three years we have been waiting for that. Uh, any time when it is things materialize, I know they are going to work on it. We are still waiting for that. Then uh, the other issue was the uh, president also said, this excellent president Young Kabita said, uh, Africa was helping the clan members. They were getting support from him. Since he is not there, so he's, he was going to uh, give the family 50 million as a circle revolving fund to help the clan members. 
But up to now, uh, we are waiting. We have been sending our representative, our brother, to the parliament, then where, where even through Moses, uh, General Moses Ali, then I think they are not materialized, but we are waiting to see what will come next. Amina um, Sijali Ibrahim, a widow of the late Ibrahim and a mother of three, speaking to West Nile Television, has called on the president to help her continue with her education. Since his death, I haven't met even my president up to now. I wish I can meet him so that I put some things also short of him, what I want to do with me and my children in my life. Work. Me, I'm not educated. I'm only a senior film leader because he also grabbed me from school. So I had that intention of going back to school. Even if I'm old, but still I can. If I, want, if, if I have that heart of going back to school, I want to just go, do something, get some paper, so that I can also make use of that paper for my children to raise them up. Because I can't just stay here, sit at home, wait for, from the government just to help me. I should also, as a woman, as a mother, do something for the family. The late Ibrahim Abiriga also served as a resident district commissioner of Arua and Yumbe districts before running for parliamentary seat under the NRM ticket. Reporting for West Nile Television, I am Mahajub Muzmil.